Hey everybody, I am very happy to be back with Jack Stockin with another interesting hand. Jack, what do you have for us? Well, I've got a very interesting hand today, Bajir, uh, featuring a, 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 a convention called the Unusual Two No Trumps. I've heard it, and I could certainly uh, use your help in understanding it better. Yeah, it's, it's quite rare, but when it comes up, it's quite fun. And we'll see it put into action today, and then declare us seeing if they can match their brave bidding with their brave play. So, uh, yeah, it's a fairly interesting hand, both in the bidding and the play. The best kind. Shall we take yeah. a look? Let's go. So I'll just get us started, Bajir. Um, West opens on the rule of 20. And would you open one spade or one heart here? Well, I would open the highest of my two five-card suits. Is you're well-trained. Right? Yes, you're well-trained. It's high fives. I'll give you a high five. So one spade. High five to all the viewers, too, who get that. Yeah, so this is for more for an intermediate tip. It's it's rule of 20. Uh, it's only 10 points, everyone, but it's a number of cards in the two longest suits, which is 5-5, five, five, adding up to 20. So we can open a spade uh, with 10 points and a 5-5 five, five shape. Now, North, Virginia, now normally people might just bid two diamonds, but if you're playing this quite fun convention called the unusual two no trumps, and you need to agree it with your partner, of course, this is a more advanced convention, um, this shows uh, a minimum of 5-5 five, five in the two lowest suits. How about that? In the two lower remaining suits? Yes, in the two lower remaining suits, the two lower ranking suits. So, so not yes. necessarily the minors, whatever a, of the remaining three suits. In this yes. instance, it happens to be the minors. Correct. I mean, some people play it just as the minors. But you can also do it, for example, if West opened one diamond, then North would jump to two no trumps to show clubs and hearts, you know, the two lower ranked suits. Um but some people just play it for the minors. Quite a lot of people don't play it at all. But you do have to agree it with your partner. But you very, very rarely bid two no trumps here to show 20 to 22 points. Uh, so it's quite fun. Right. Um, and so, is it alertable? Oh, definitely alertable, yes. It's, it's, it's very unusual. And it rarely comes up. That's it, the name. <laughs> yeah, hence the name. Um, but it's f at least 5-5 five, five in the two lower ranked suits. Here would be the minors. And probably just six or more points, you know, if you're not vulnerable. But you must have a bit of suit quality. So kind of at least two honours in each suit, really. Um, so this hand is perfect for it, isn't it? It is. Uh, North would love to play in neither of those. East bids three spades. Hmm. And what would you bid with the south hand, do you think? Knowing your partner's got five clubs and five diamonds. Oh, gosh. Well, you see how helpful that two no trump bid is. Um, we have a 10-card fit. And this is a competitive auction. Correct. So if I've learned anything from you in competitive <laughs> auctions, we want to bid to the level of the fit. Am I right? Correct. So you could just bid four clubs here, which would be the level of the fit, knowing you've got 10 cards. But actually, look at the vulnerability. North, south are not vulnerable, and east, west are. So actually, I would recommend actually bidding to five clubs here, Bajir. Mm. Um, you know, half expecting to spoil, i.e. if the opponents are making four spades, going down in five clubs will be a good result. But secondly, right. we might also make five clubs, you know, uh, uh, on this hand. So it's kind of win-win, really. And it does cut out the bidding, doesn't it? Because East-West can no longer bid four spades. Right. Um, so there we go. So we're just bidding one more. But the vulnerability here is important. Uh, if we were vulnerable, I would just do the same as what you suggested, bidding four clubs. You think East, and, East or West will uh, double us? Well, let's find out. West passes okay. at the minimum. But East... <laughs> look at the hand there. Part, they should definitely double. I know some people would forget to double. But look, their partners opened the bidding and they got the ace king of trumps. So they, they if I was east right now, I'd be pretty excited. Well, exactly. And they think they've been stolen from, you know, so they need to get some money back in the bank uh, by <laughs> doubling. <laughs> so that's it. The lead is standard king of spades. And before we do anything, we must count losers in high level contracts. Well, that's what I recommend. Some people count winners. That's fine. You should mm. come to the same. Uh, but I like to count losers because for me, it's easier to count to three or four than it is to nine or ten. Um, <laughs> I like your thinking. <laughs> uh, so just counting the losers, we're going to lose a spade to the queen, aren't we? Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to lose the ace king of clubs, for sure. And, well, we might lose some diamonds, but we're going to, you know, that, that, that will uh, we'll suss that out in the passage of time. But for the moment, we win the ace of spades. And the thing, key thing is, it's always the main question, isn't it? Do we draw trumps or not? Would you draw trumps on this hand? 
You know, I, I, I always, I, I try to remember that question. I tend to think draw Trump's first unless there's a good reason. In this instance, missing the ace and king, that feels like a reason not to, not yes. to lose those until we have to. Is that right? Your heart, you're probably almost right, I should say, because yes, you are missing the ace, king and clubs. That Normally that wouldn't put us off. But the thing is, if you draw trumps now, the opponents will very quickly win the king of clubs, cash their queen of spades, and you'll be at least one down. So what we need to be thinking about is getting rid of that six of spades in dummy. Is there any way we can get rid of it before mm. drawing trumps? Mm. Right, that we have something better to do. Correct, because if we just draw trumps here, we're going to be at least one down before we've even started. But I can see a way, Bajir, of getting rid of that six of spades. It's quite subtle, and I imagine at the table many players wouldn't see it, hence we're looking at it now. But first of all, I need to get to dummy. Aha, neat. Yeah. And do I play the queen or the ten of diamonds? Clearly I need to finesse. But which finesse? Well, I'm, I'm blocking my vision of East and West hands right now. What would you guys idea. do, viewers? If I was <laughs> playing by myself without thinking it through, I'd probably play the queen, but just you asking me makes me <laughs> think I'm probably missing something. Well, can I tell you, lots of players would play the queen here, but with ace, queen, ten, opposite three little ones, your only hope of making all the tricks is to put in the ten. Mm. So this is what we call a deep finesse. We're going deep undercover here. Um, our only hope of making this contract is that West started with the King Jack. So we mm. need to put in the 10. This is what the odds tell us to do. Um, this is and the, we, we, we kind of need to, we need to play this as if we're going, as if we're going to win it. We need to envision the way towards making our contract we're yeah. playing it as best we can. It's, it's five clubs doubled. We need to make it. So now we're in dummy, which is where we want to be. And this is the, the crucial play really. We play a low heart, and normally we play to the ace with the singleton, but our only hope is to finesse the queen. Mm. <coughs> because we need a discard of the six of spades. So we had to risk going two down here, at wow. least, to make this contract. Mm. But our luck was in. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that lucky? That's <laughs> fantastic. Look at that. So... We've risked the finesse. We can now cash the ace of hearts, and away goes, bye-bye, the six of spades. Our spade loser is gone. Yeah. Isn't that great? So That's great. We, that, it takes a lot of confidence uh, to do that and experience, to, obviously, to see that at trick one or trick two, that we had to get rid of that loser, and the only chance was the 50-50 heart finesse. Mm. Um, so now we're looking, and we're in a much better shape now. So now we can draw the trumps. Mm. Let's for the queen. Um, they would return, let's say, he would cash his ace of clubs. Uh, like that. Hearts can go. That's it. And probably a third round of clubs for you, just to draw the draw out the last trump. Essentially, he's he's drawing our trumps away from yeah, us. Yeah, he's doing a two for one now, which mm. is my favorite thing when I go shopping. I love looking for a two for one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bog off and all that stuff. And now I'm going to do something reasonably clever. I'm going to unblock the ten of clubs. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to win, yeah, by winning with the ten of clubs, I need an entry back to my hand right. uh, to take the diamond for now. So I'm going to If we had won that with the seven, we would have lost the chance to get back to South's hand. Exactly. So... Yeah, you're quite right. So it's quite um, important to, to win with the 10 because now I've got an entry back to hand. Look, uh, let's do that now to the eight. I can now revert back to the diamonds, which I know is going to win to the queen. Cash the ace of diamonds. And we're pr looking pretty good now. Those are winners. And the final diamond is a winner, of course. Mm. And then we've just got Trump's left, so we're on the home run. I can't believe we pulled that off. <laughs> Five fifty. East must off. be fuming. <laughs> East was no. I mean, you know, look at wow. that. They certainly had their double of five plus, but and that was an incredibly lucky contract. But in Bridge, right. Bridget, I say, you know, I've said this before. You just need to keep trying, keep with a technique that you've learned. Mm. Um, and the luck we needed was we needed the King and Jack of Diamonds with West. And we needed the King of Hearts with East. You know, so <laughs> that's pretty low odds, but we had to play for that to make this contract. We sort um, of have to envision 
what would work out for us and play for the best. Exactly. So I realized that the diamonds would have to work for us. We need the heart finesse. But I think the crucial play there really was realizing that we're counting your losers. This is good technique. This is a, a tough hand uh, for improvers yeah. and intermediates, but it's a very instructive hand. And it, it's all in the planning, really, at trick one. Um, looking, counting your losers. And here, having counted at least three losers, we needed to get rid of that spade before we drew the trumps. If we'd have had the ace king of clubs, of trumps, that's fine. Draw the trumps. But here we could not afford to lose the lead. So that technique, Bashir, is called discarding a certain loser before mm. drawing trumps. It's very mm. useful. Now, a, a, a follow-up question. I wonder if um, some of the viewers might have it as well. Especially for us learners, it can feel disheartening when the finessing just doesn't work out in our favor. Yeah, it is disheartening, but that will happen 50% of the time. And on a bad day, today is a good day. But on a bad day, West would have the king of hearts, and we'd have lost an unnecessary heart trick. And East would have had the king and the jack of diamonds if we switch all mm. the cards around. And then we would have been about two or three down, um, doubled, you know, which would have been quite expensive. But remember that West opened the bidding. You know, they're more likely to have right. the, you know, West opened the bidding. They're more likely to have the, uh, you know, the diamonds. Um, so, um, yeah, but I, I would just say, you know, some contracts, however good you are, will go down if the finesses don't work. Mm, mm. Well, thank you, Jack. So just remembering key points, we should remember to ask, when should we draw trumps? Yes. We should look at our losers. Well, I guess first we should, don't forget to count your losers. Yes. yes. And then we should look for the chance to discard any of our losers see if yes. it would be possible correct and this hand doesn't type of hand doesn't come up all that often but you know and i would say to the viewers you know please from now on you know don't uh, ever not draw trumps again you know most of the time you will still be drawing trumps first but there were mm. two very good reasons for not doing that a we had to get rid of this loser and b drawing trumps involved losing the lead to the ace or the king of clubs. And also just coming back to counting losers quickly, yeah, I wouldn't bother doing it in two spades or three clubs in low level contracts, but in high level contracts, you know, four spades, five clubs, etc. It's a good idea. It shouldn't take a second or two to do it. Well, thank you, Jack. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh, for the folks watching, let us know, would you have found your way through that hand? And how would you have bid it? Would you have bid with that unusual two no Trump hand, <laughs> uh, two no Trump bid? Ah, and maybe, uh, you know, collectively, if uh, you play a hand and you're able to bid the unusual tuna trump, let us know. Send in a comment or an email, and uh, maybe we can take a look at it together. That's great, Bajir. Just to say, people can find me on Monday mornings, uh, 9.30 UK time, uh, teaching lessons for an hour um, on various topics, and also for improvers on, on Wednesday afternoon. Oh, and just before I go, Bajir, I've got a, a brand new beginner's class starting in October. Mm. Uh, the complete beginners to the game. So if anyone's watching, please recommend their friends to take up an online bridge course. The more people who play bridge, the better. You'd be in good hands with Jack. Um, everyone would be welcome. LearnBridgeOnline.com forward slash Jack dash Stockin. You'll find out information about all of his classes. Thank you so much, Jack. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you soon. Bye.